Welcome to the Football Archives, where today we embark on an exhilarating journey through the rich history of one of the world's most iconic football clubs, Manchester United. From its humble beginnings in the industrial heartland of England to becoming a global footballing powerhouse, the story of Manchester United is one of triumphs, heartaches, and unwavering passion. The story begins in 1878, when a group of railway workers formed a football club in Newton Heath, Lancashire, known as Newton Heath LYR Football Club. Newton Heath initially played their home games at North Road, which was a small ground located in the Clayton district of Manchester, England. The stadium was very modest and had limited facilities, reflecting the early days of football in the late 19th century. Newton Heath Football Club joined the Football Alliance in 1890. The Football Alliance was formed as an alternative league to the Football League and catered to clubs from the Midlands and the north of England. At that time, Newton Heath was facing financial difficulties and was struggling to find consistent success in their local leagues. After their short two-year stint in the Football Alliance, Newton Heath later became a part of the First Division when the Football Alliance merged with the Football League in 1892 resulting in a more unified and comprehensive structure for football in England. This period marked an important turning point in the club's history. In 1902, a pivotal moment arrived when the club underwent a significant transformation. The club was facing bankruptcy and was on the brink of collapse. It was during this critical moment that John Henry Davies, a local brewery owner, stepped in to rescue the struggling club. Davies not only injected much needed funds into the club, but also provided stable financial backing to help the club get back on its feet. He became the principal investor and owner of the club, assuming the role of chairman. With his vision and support, Davies rebranded the club as Manchester United, symbolizing a new era and fresh identity for the team. The name change represented his ambition to represent the entire city of Manchester, and it marked the beginning of a remarkable transformation. In the post-war era of 1945, the footballing world witnessed a defining moment in the history of Manchester United. The introduction of a man whose name would become synonymous with the club's glory, Sir Matt Busby. Busby took the reins at Old Trafford in October 1945, charged with a mission to revive a club that had been heavily impacted by the war. The club faced significant challenges, with its stadium, Old Trafford, devastated by bombing during the war. But Busby's optimism and determination knew no bounds. From the start, Busby brought a fresh and visionary approach, focusing on youth development and attacking football. He believed in nurturing young talents and instilling the Manchester United way of playing. Under Busby's guidance, the club's fortunes began to rise. In 1948, they secured the FA Cup, laying the foundation for future triumphs. But it was the emergence of the Busby Babes in the 1950s that would capture the world's imagination. A squad of young talents, fearlessly taking on the best in the league and conquering hearts with their exuberant style of play. Success followed, with league titles in 1952 and 1956, and the club's reputation soared. Manchester United became known for their attacking flair and the spirit of the young players that adorned the famous red jersey. The Busby Babes showcased a thrilling brand of football that dazzled spectators and earned admiration across the footballing world. The camaraderie among the players was a key ingredient of their success. They played not just as teammates, but as a closely knit football family with a shared determination to succeed. Tragedy struck on the 6th of February 1958. Manchester United, known as the Busby Babes for their youthful exuberance, was returning from a European Cup match in Belgrade. The aircraft, a British European Airways plane named Elizabethan, had to make a stop in Munich to refuel due to adverse weather conditions. Tragically, during the third takeoff attempt, the plane failed to gain altitude, crashing through the airport's fence and into a nearby house. The disaster claimed the lives of 23 people, including eight Manchester United players and three members of the club's staff. The footballing world mourned the loss of such promising talents. In the wake of the tragedy, heartfelt tributes poured in from all corners of the globe. Football clubs, fans and communities united to honor those who lost their lives.
Sir Matt Busby, the manager of Manchester United, was critically injured but miraculously survived. He showed remarkable resilience and determination to rebuild the team in honor of the fallen. Against all odds, Busby rebuilt the team with a mix of youth and experience. The club's resilience in the face of adversity became its defining characteristic. In the 1967-1968 season, Manchester United embarked on a European odyssey, with Busby at the helm, guiding them through intense matches and dramatic comebacks. In the semi-finals, Manchester United faced the mighty Real Madrid. Down 3-1 from the first leg, they staged a remarkable comeback at Old Trafford, winning 3-2 and reaching the final. On May 29, 1968, at Wembley Stadium, Manchester United met Benfica in the European Cup final, a testament to Busby's unwavering belief and the indomitable United spirit. After a tense 90 minutes, the match entered extra time. It was then that the heroics of George Best, Bobby Charlton, and Brian Kidd secured a 4-1 victory for Manchester United. As Sir Matt Busby lifted the European Cup trophy, the world witnessed a moment of triumph that transcended football. It was a triumph of resilience, a testament to the human spirit. Sir Matt Busby's journey to winning the European Cup in 1968 was a tale of resilience, courage, and determination. A story that continues to inspire generations of football fans. Enter Sir Alex Ferguson. In November 1986, a new era began at Manchester United, a chapter that would forever alter the course of football history. This is the story of when Sir Alex Ferguson took over the club and the profound impact he had on the Red Devils. Upon his arrival, Ferguson wasted no time in making his mark. His relentless drive for excellence, unwavering discipline, and relentless focus on youth development were evident from the start. Sir Alex Ferguson won his first trophy with Manchester United in the 1989-90 season. This season saw United lift the FA Cup. Manchester United navigated through the early rounds of the competition, displaying their attacking prowess and determination to lift the coveted trophy. In the semi-final at Main Road, Manchester United faced a resilient Oldham Athletic side in a tense encounter that ultimately required a replay. United won the replay 2-1 and progressed to the FA Cup final at Wembley Stadium. On May 12, 1990, the stage was set for the FA Cup final at Wembley Stadium. Manchester United faced a spirited Crystal Palace team, hungry for their own glory. The match went down to the wire, with the score locked at 3-3 after extra time. Extraordinary efforts from both sides left fans on the edge of their seats. The replay took place five days later, and it was a tense and thrilling affair. Manchester United displayed their resilience and character, refusing to be deterred. In the 59th minute, Lee Martin became the hero of the night, netting the decisive goal that secured a 1-0 victory for Manchester United. The final whistle sparked scenes of joy and celebration as Manchester United lifted the FA Cup trophy, their first major trophy under Sir Alex Ferguson. The 1992-93 season was a turning point for Manchester United. This season saw United win their first Premier League title under Sir Alex, the start of a golden era for the club. The class of 92, featuring players like Ryan Giggs, Paul Scholes, and David Beckham, epitomized Sir Alex's vision of developing homegrown talent and playing attractive, attacking football. Sir Alex's unique ability to motivate and inspire his players fueled the hunger for success. He demanded nothing but the best from his team, pushing them to new heights. This allowed Manchester United to win the Premier League five more times in the next seven years. The 1999 season was a standout season in the history of Manchester United. This season saw United win the historic treble. Manchester United's journey to the treble began in the Premier League, where they displayed consistency and determination to secure the domestic title. From dramatic late winners to exhilarating team performances, Manchester United left an indelible mark on the league, emerging as worthy champions. As the FA Cup campaign unfolded, a thrilling and historic journey awaited the Red Devils. Manchester United began their FA Cup journey with a determined spirit, showcasing their attacking prowess and determination to lift the coveted trophy. 
From the early stages, Manchester United displayed their class, progressing past opponents with a blend of youthful talent and seasoned veterans. In the semi-final at Villa Park, Manchester United faced a stern test against a formidable Arsenal side. The match was tightly contested, showcasing the drama and intensity of knockout football. United beat Arsenal 2-1 thanks to Peter Schmeichel's penalty-saving heroics and an incredible solo goal by Ryan Giggs. On May 22, 1999, the stage was set at Wembley Stadium for the FA Cup Final. Manchester United faced Newcastle United in a clash that would determine the champions of England's oldest and most prestigious cup competition. Manchester United would end up winning this intense match 2-0 thanks to goals from Teddy Sheringham and Paul Scholes. But it was in the UEFA Champions League that Manchester United's magical run captured the imagination of football fans worldwide. Facing challenging opponents, including Inter Milan and Juventus, Manchester United's never-say-die spirit was on full display, culminating in a historic comeback against Juventus in the semi-finals. In the final at Camp Nou, Manchester United faced the formidable Bayern Munich. Bayern took control of the match early on, dictating the pace and creating scoring opportunities. In the sixth minute, Bayern Munich's Mario Basler struck a free kick that found the back of the net, giving Bayern an early lead. Manchester United struggled to find their rhythm, and their goalkeeper Peter Schmeichel was called upon to make several crucial saves. In the 91st minute, Teddy Sheringham capitalized on a loose ball in the box, equalizing for Manchester United. But the drama didn't end there. In the dying seconds of injury time, a corner kick from David Beckham found its way to Oli Gunnar Solskjaer, who instinctively flicked the ball into the net, sending Manchester United's fans into delirium. The final whistle blew, and Manchester United completed one of the most stunning comebacks in football history, securing a 2-1 victory and claiming the UEFA Champions League trophy. United also became the first club to win the Premier League, FA Cup, and Champions League in one season. After this iconic season, Manchester United would go on to dominate the Premier League, winning the title in 2000, 2001, 2003, 2007, 2008, 2009, 2011, and 2013. Sir Alex Ferguson retired as the manager of Manchester United in 2013. After an illustrious and successful career spanning 26 years at the helm of the club, he announced his retirement on May 8, 2013. Ferguson's retirement marked the end of an era and left an indelible legacy as one of the greatest football managers of all time. The post-Ferguson era brought with it challenges and struggles as Manchester United grappled to maintain their former dominance in English football. The club witnessed a string of managerial changes, with each successor trying to fill the void left by Sir Alex. From David Moyes to Louis van Gaal and then Jose Mourinho, Manchester United struggled to find stability. In the years following 2013, Manchester United managed to win some trophies, but they were few and far between. The FA Cup in 2016 and the UEFA Europa League in 2017 were the standout achievements. In recent years, there have been signs of resurgence under the new management of Eric Ten Hag, with young talents and experienced players coming together to show glimpses of the Manchester United of old. My question to you is, do you think Eric Ten Hag has what it takes to take Manchester United back to the top? Thank you for joining us on this unforgettable journey through the history of Manchester United. Be sure to like, share and subscribe for more footballing stories and iconic moments.